Hi, I'm Teja and I'm an outreach intern uh, working with Murray. Uh, my project is creating designs for the community outreach revamp and that's pretty much what I've been doing this summer. I'm a computer science student and I'm passionate about cats, anime and occasionally politics. I've always wanted to uh, pursue a creative profession, which is how I found myself contributing to Fedora's design team. I'm interested in graphic design, development, and FCI, and eventually I'd like to find myself doing something which uh, involves a combination of all three. Uh, today we're going to be talking about creating work adventure maps for Fedora, and uh, on this slide I've pretty much listed uh, everything I'll be uh, talking about today. So to start off, uh, what are work adventure maps? Um, so uh, if you've been hanging around, you've uh, probably visited the Fedora Museum in one of the socials. And if you haven't, I've inserted uh, pictures of it here. So that is a work adventure map. Uh, work adventure maps are basically customizable and interactive 8-bit maps where you can create an 8-bit character for yourself and move around and interact with other 8-bit characters. Uh, why would you want to use a custom 8-bit map? Uh, they basically make for a fun and interesting social experience where you can run into people like you would do in real life and connect with them when you're in close proximity and uh, it's it has this game like vibe so that makes it fun it's great for informal meetings and just in general so so socializing because you can meet new people and also the people you know and you can all just roam around run into people and play with the map um so apart from the museum map this time uh the f34 release party also used um uh, work adventure maps for its hallway track. We had five uh, work adventure maps there, which were made by outreachy contributors. I was one of them, and uh, I worked on this map as well. Uh, so basically, like if you've been there, you know that these are kind of really nice for conferences, uh, socializing in conferences, in general social events, and they can add some excitement uh, because since there's a lot of Zoom fatigue and just people get tired of it. So this is something new and exciting and you can, you know, create something fresh each time uh, and, you know, for remote interaction when you have, when you're considered, uh, when you're concerned with an international event, this is pretty cool. So uh, next, the next three points that I mentioned here, that is how these are created, what tools are used and the process behind the Fedora Museum is uh, what I'll be talking about for the rest of this talk. Uh, and although this is not a hands-on session, uh, I'll kind of be treating the Fedora Museum like a case study here. And I'll be talking about things with reference to the Fedora Museum and uh, what, how we came up with that. So I'll get started now. Uh, first, we need to have a look at the tools that will be used and why we use them. So the tools that are involved here uh, are Work Adventure, Tiled Map Editor, and uh, the third bullet point, which has a couple of options, is actually optional, but we'll come to that later. So Work Adventure is where uh, the map that you will be creating will be hosted. Uh, basically, Work Adventure will be adding the functionality to the map. Uh, like, you made the map, you put all the art there, but uh, the uh, characters that will be moving on there and uh, the, th the different effects, like, uh, effects like uh, collisions and areas like Jitsi meets pop-ups, all that is uh, happens through Work Adventure's platform. 
the tiled map editor is where you'll be defining everything that can be seen like you'll be putting the artwork there and uh, you'll be adding uh, like all the effects that are there on Jitsi, uh, on a uh, work adventure like the Jitsi meets and everything that too is defined on the tiled map editor so everything is defined on here but uh, it becomes functional on work adventure and uh, the third thing, uh, uh, also like Work Adventure has its own templates, but if you want to customize your map in any way, that is when you'll be using uh, Tiled. <clears throat> and the third bullet point is a couple of options for coming up with this uh, pixel art. So um, obviously the map is like 8 bit, so it uses uh, everything that is there on the museum map, for example, is custom made pixel art. So, uh, that is uh, needed like if you want to go for a more personalized feel if you want to add some custom art that is when you will be using these tools this skill is uh, only for creating a uh, pixel art and Critark has like other use cases as well but it can be used for this and if you want to add some custom art but uh, you don't want to come up with it yourself you can also visit websites like uh, itch.io where you can get uh, tile sets um, and basically you can get the pixel art uh, but you don't have to make it uh so but the thing with hi.io is that uh, the artists on there usually either uh, charge or they uh, need their work to be credited so if like someone visits hi.io they should take care of that uh on here uh Piskel and krita are both free and open source and so is the tiled map editor mm. so now we can get started with our case study bit uh so since like this was a design process uh we started with ideation uh the ideas that we were considering for the map for uh, nest for a party in the sky which would have things like clouds and an airplane vibe going because like travel and conferences we wanted to have that going the second idea was having an outdoor event. Uh, the third was a Fedora theme park. And the one we finally went for was the Fedora Museum. Uh, so after we finalized our idea, we came up with a little uh, map, a drawing of what we'd want to be to see there. So this is the, uh, no, this is not the first. This is the second uh, map that we came up with. The first map looks slightly rougher than this. Uh, this is what uh, this was. Uh, Marie made my design neater and she added more stuff. So uh, this is that. And uh, if I show you, like uh, in the coming slides, you can see the map in how it looked in the map editor. And this pretty much did translate. So you can like pretty much draw something and translate it like the way you want it to look. So going through a nice design phase is good here. Mm, then since uh, we are using all these tools, there is some setup required. Uh, I think the tricky bit when it comes to the setup is work adventure. Uh, because like that is where you're pushing the changes. So, uh, but Work Adventure has their uh, process pretty well documented on their uh, website. So it's not uh, all that difficult. They have like a step-by-step -step thing. So it's actually uh, pretty easy to follow along. Uh, in a nutshell, what you have to do is you have to use their uh, template repository from GitHub. And you have to set up GitHub pages on it by going to settings. And then you go to GH pages and you set the source to the GH pages branch. Like, it's pretty simple. It's just a bunch of steps. Uh, then you're going to need the tiled map editor, which you'll have to download. And when you uh, create a map on tiled, to make it compatible with Work Adventure, you have to take care of some settings. Your uh, So each time you create a new map, you need to define certain parameters. So um, in this case, the orientation of the tiles has to be orthogonal and the size has to be 32 pixels by 32 pixels mm. apart from this uh, if you're making custom artwork using uh, piscilla krita 
you should ensure that the art is compatible with the map and we can call, we'll come to that later now i'll be talking about uh, how you use all these three things uh like because you when you actually start making the map you won't be using like you won't make all the art first and then put it, it it's not a very neat process you'll be doing it in phases so all these three steps happen simultaneously so the first thing we're going to be discussing is creating the pixel art and first of all this is a lot of fun uh, the second thing is about keeping it compatible with the map so the uh, thing is that since the tiles to make it compatible with work adventure have to be 32 pixels by 32 pixels that means the tiles of your art uh, your art should basically be the width and the height should be multiples of 32 uh, pixels mm, and the reason behind that is uh, otherwise some of your stuff will get cut off and like you can't put half a tile onto uh, the editor so you're going to need that to be a multiple for example you can go for something like 32 by 64 or 96 by 1280 and i can't multiply with anything over four i'm sorry uh then when you're working with pixel art there's like two things to keep in mind first is like if you want more clear images if you want to get a high definition going then uh you'd want to basically make your pix pixels more dense. So what you can do for this is you can suppose you uh, set your file size to uh, 96 by 96 and you export it at 32 by 32. So you'll get a denser and more detailed looking piece of art. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is that uh, then you should be doing this for all of it otherwise it will look inconsistent the next thing that can be noted here is like adding uh, definitions so if you want to give like a more 3d or realistic look to your art you should be playing with light colors and dark colors so for example if you look at uh, the first row here there's like in the photo frame like this a light layer and then it ends with a dark layer so that adds some color to it and it, it gives it some definition um another thing to see here is that since uh, we're creating like a work we are potentially talking about creating a work adventure map for fedora for a conference or an internal event or something uh one thing to keep in mind is that uh, the map should like you know uh align with the fedora aesthetic so uh in that case what one could do is uh use fedora colors the four foundations and uh, uh, the blues uh using fedora mascots adding the logos in places like for example in the map there's there's some swag so uh that has the fedora logos the little knight also has a logo on its shield uh, we have statues of the panda and all the remakes of the paintings feature fedora um, friends mascots yes i forgot that word there but yeah so that helps like you know uh, to give it a very personalized and directed feel uh now that was about creating pixel art since i use pixel i also have a size slide on creating pixel art for pixel uh it's it can be slightly intimidating when you're starting like with a blank page when you especially i feel when you're creating pixel art but it's actually a pretty fun process especially like you know if you make a drawing of what you want or if you can find some good reference so that is a nice thing uh now Pixel is a very easy tool to use. It reminds me, like it reminds me uh, of Microsoft Paint, where like from the early two thousands. Like I don't know, it's very reminiscent of that. And the tools are similar. It's a very easy to use piece of software. But yeah, this got me nostalgic. Um, but I don't think like uh, it's very hard to. Uh, get used to the tool itself uh, and the main part is that uh, 
coloring each uh, like coloring every single square of that grid can be uh, slightly uh, annoying and time consuming but uh, it is fun too um then we have the tile editor so uh, the tile editor is uh, like everything on here is mostly graphical like uh, uh, the tool is pretty much drag and drop, uh, more like not even drag and drop, you, you select what you want to, the tile set with which you want to paint and you just slide it everywhere and it gets painted with that. There are also some other options like you can use the paint bucket tool, you can use this random tool which uh, picks a random tile from tile set and puts it there, so all that can be done. Um, you can also modify tile sets like rotate them or um, flip them, things like that. Uh, so tile sets are basically, I should have mentioned this before, but tile sets, if anyone is confused, they are uh, they're just uh, pixel art. That Not even pixel art, just anything you're putting on the map, that's your tile set. And it's called a tile set because the tile ledger has tiles on which you're painting it, so it's called a tile set. Um, you can work with layers on here like you can put things one on top of the other uh, and you can keep it systematic uh, the interesting thing here is that uh, the tile editor uh, for every tile set or layer you can add properties like uh, for example there's um, the open website property which we have used at the screening room at the bottom right where like when you enter the Fedora podcast opens so there's that uh, over here for the Jitsi meets everywhere with the collisions uh, we've used uh, these properties um, so that's one thing uh, someone should note also when you're making a map for work adventure uh, using tile what you'd like to do is um, you'd like to uh, kind of have some things defined for work adventure like work adventure needs a layer in which your players will be moving it needs an entry layer and if you want to connect two maps which is also something you can do you need an exit layer so an entry layer an exit layer entry layer is where like everything that's painted in the entry layer is where your players will land when they first come to the map players or characters and uh, yeah that is uh, about this uh, then this work adventure, work adventures where you'll basically be testing your map, so you'll push your changes there, you'll test it, by, uh, pushing changes you'll be using since like uh, this uses GitHub, so you'll just be pushing your new map to GitHub and you can test it uh, using GH pages or you can also uh, test it locally using NPM, like that process is pretty well documented uh, on uh, the website for like work adventures website so uh this is like the fun bit except if your map crashes and you get a black screen then it's not fun um that would pretty much be it for like the process behind making the museum map and uh, creating maps using work adventure and uh, i think i'll if i i'll answer questions if i have any now Okay, <laughs> there are no questions. Uh, if anyone has any, uh, feel free to uh, put them in the chat. Uh, otherwise, I'm done. Uh, this is it for creating uh, work adventure apps for Fedora. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>